Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the announcement of the evening. And now, introducing to you, hailing from West London, United Kingdom, coming in by way of the dance hall and grime scene, it's Lady Yorkershire! Is there a reason why you're saying all this? Bruv, if it ain't black teeth, good day. Come on. Good day. You gotta write your wrong. Listen to the tune, man. This is where I belong. You was down from the get go. I should know. That I should know. Oh, the baking fam. I know it's because I'm in the building. I don't want it to be, I want it to say PG. No, wait, wait for the camera to go off, love. Boxing with the girls. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's start the thing. Let's go. So, you get a man hot round here. Very hot. Look, can you see the glow? Come on. Bro, this is a children's show. This is a children's I show. I know, but everything Lady Sand does <laughs> ah, come on. a sexual element all the time. Come on, all day. Yeah. All day. All right. Okay, carry on. There's a lioness in the camp. But, lioness um, in the camp, all day. Okay, so uh, I want to I wanna throw it at you, but like, I don't know. I'm just throwing it at you because we just we will touch on connecting from theory to Dickhead 101, John A. Wilder. <laughs> Bro, now Joe Kaiwada is giving me jokes. I really haven't been in too, too much in Chile, but you know, when a man can't take defeat, it's not a good sign. You understand what I'm saying? And coming up with all these biblical quotes, he's just making himself look like an eagle. But you know the man's thing, yeah? He came out with biblical quotes on Halloween. <laughs> so it doesn't seem that there's been much thought given into what he's saying, even though he's talking about. The, the Bible says be slow to talk. But, man, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> so... The Bible didn't say chat shit, yeah. <laughs> the Bible <laughs> definitely never said that, fam. <laughs> so, I don't know. Listen, he obviously... You know, listen, I, that's why I don't argue with people because whatever someone is in their, has in their head is real to them. Mm -hmm. So, you're there trying to convince them or tell them otherwise, but it's in their head. So, whatever yeah. is coming out of their mouth is what they believe. So... You just gotta let him do with it the way he's dealing with it. Obviously, yeah, but, but it's multiple lawsuits, really. Yeah, yeah, he could. He's, he's got to be very careful, and I can't believe he's got people around him. Um, so again, I don't even want to speak too soon because sometimes you know we 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 are calling them mad and everything. You don't know. You might have some evidence. You might have some evidence. I doubt it very much because I've been in. You know, me and Anthony. You know, thank God. In our eighth fight, we fought in on the undercard of Canelo Alvarez mm -hmm. uh, and Leon Smith in Dallas, Texas. And mm -hmm. I remember they are so strict with the gloves. We like, know. They and they were in Las Vegas. If they got, they've got they got the Wilder whole testing thing. It's like yeah, full gloves. Yeah. It's not Ooh, a joke. Every, everybody, Kenny Bayless would have to have been on it. Like, uh, like well, we know he's a bit corrupt. Mauricio Suleiman, no, I love to start the things. But, like, like, but the stuff... <laughs> Must have everybody singing it. Like, like, <laughs> Man, bro, me, I don't know. No, I don't know that about that. But but, guys. <laughs> but Deontay Wilder said that. Hold on. Big Bobster says, wait, wait, wait. Big Bobster says, Deontay Wilder said let me, that. Let me refigure. He said his water spiked. was spiked by Mark Breland. But guess what? He needs stamina water. He needs the stamina water. If you got um, because that would have got him, that would have got his legs from the ring walk with the costume. <laughs> you get me? It would have been good. He would have been, been, been good with the stamina water. So he said Mark Breland spiked his uh, water with Which a muscle relaxant, but yet Mark Breland threw on the threw in the towel. So if Mark Breland wanted to sabotage you, he, he was getting battered. He would have just left you. Yeah, Why I, I, I don't know. To save you? What he's saying is very strange to me, and um. 
I don't know. He, he might not fight again. You don't know. He might not be. He might in a position. He might not fight again because there seems to be some mental issues there with him. Because and again, it don't look good. I know it's not a color thing, but this man has been with you from the get go. Mm -hmm. And this man, this man actually saved your life. Yeah. Prob probably saved your career. Yeah. And, and, and you and you sat the only black him, the black rider yeah. on your team. Yeah, and not only that, like. You gotta remember, Mark Breeden ain't a young person, so no, you know he's, a, he's got he's got family, he's, he's got champion. he's got children, and mm. you know he's putting a lot of pressure on an old man because I don't care how tough he thinks he is, he's a human being, and mm. he's an elderly human being as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he's looking at Deontay as his son. You understand? Mm -hmm. When he's throwing in that towel, he ain't throwing in because of no money. He's throwing in the towel because he's like, brother, I don't want my son to dead in the ring. Exactly. <laughs> so so. So for, so for Deontay to publicly, you got to remember, he's publicly said this about a guy that has really had his best interest at heart from day one. I, I, don't, I don't respect that. That's the only thing I don't, I don't respect that. Neither ne do I. And um, also he said that there was um, like kind of eggshell metal, like ball bearings been placed in the gloves. That what ties, like, bruv, let's just call it, if he had a ball bearing like knuckle duster, you would be shattered into pieces. And he would mash up his own hand. Yeah, and, and Tyson's <laughs> own hand would be he mashed would mash up. up yeah. his own hand. So that don't make no sense. So I don't know where these uh, allegations are coming from. But, you know, listen, Americans are very, very clever. You know, they use the media to put themselves in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the media is against them. I remember, I never thought, I don't want to say where it is, mm -hmm. but when the 50 Cent and the Floyd Mayweather mm -hmm. so-called beef was going oh, on, yeah. I was at breakfast with Floyd when 50 phoned his phone. <laughs> so, that was a bit. So it was. It was made. So out. some job business. It's yeah. Some job business. So, but also they did have a little altercation. But you know, that's what you have publicists for. And, yeah, and, exactly. And, you got your and PR, PR people. For that. So, so you never know. Uh, again, it's just something for talk about. I mean, we're all talking about. Well, I'm not talking about it because it's you that told me about it. To be honest with you. Yeah, I told that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, everybody seems to be talking about it, and it's creating dialogue. So, yeah, but where's it going? It's only it all it is, is like it's all it is is putting a nasty face like it's like spoiling his whole little bit of his legacy that he's got left.